calling point elevation of boiling point bp in this heading first we have to understand boiling point the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid become equal to atmospheric pressure called boiling point for that liquid the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid become equal to atmospheric pressure called the boiling point of the liquid generally boiling point concept is applicable for what liquid substances if atmospheric pressure is considered to be 180 then such bp called normal boiling point so there is a slight difference between boiling point and normal boiling point in normal boiling point the vapor pressure of liquid must be equal to what atmospheric pressure you know very well 1 atm 1 atmospheric pressure is equal to what 760 mm mercury column or you can say 1.013 bar okay the next term is what elevation of boiling point so let us first we form a solution by mixing solute and solvent but the condition is that our solute become non volatile and non electrolyte in nature let us consider the formation of solution by mixing volatile by mixing non volatile solute in volatile solvent that is in solution our solute become what non volatile and non electrolyte in nature whereas solvent is liquid so it become always volatile in solution two types of boiling point become possible first the boiling point of pure solvent and the second one the boiling point of solution suppose the boiling point of solution be tv dash let the boiling point of solution be tv dash 
एंड बॉलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ प्योर सॉल्वेंट बी टी बी देन वी कैन से वॉट टी बी डेज इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन वॉट टी बी वाई बिकॉज द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज ग्रेटर देन द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ वॉट सोल्यूशन एंड लास्ट क्लास we have discussed what your boiling point is inversely proportional to what vapor pressure that's why we can say that the boiling point of solution is always greater than the boiling point of pure solvent the difference of boiling point that is boiling point of solution minus boiling point of pure solvent is said to be delta tb and this delta tb is called what elevation of boiling point that is tb dash minus tb is equal to delta tb where delta tb is called elevation of boiling point according to rolls the elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molarity of the solute in solution so we can write delta tb proportional to what a small m or we can say delta tb is equal to kb into a small m this is our equation first where kb is equal to molar elevation constant also known as allosteric constant m is equal to molality of solute in solution from equation first we can say if molality of the solution become unity then the elevation of boiling point is called what molar elevation constant so molar elevation constant is defined as the elevation of boiling point when molarity of the solution become considered to be what unity if kb is not given it can be determined with the help of formula we can determine kb value if kb is not given in kb r is equal to gas constant tb is equal to boiling point of pure solvent lv is equal to latent heat of vaporization per gram of solvent or you can say 
डेल्टा एच वेपर एंथलपी ऑफ वेपराइजेशन पर मोल ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एम डैश इज इक्वल टू मोलर मास ऑफ व्हाट सॉल्वेंट दैट इज एलवी इज इक्वल टू यू कैन राइट डेल्टा वेपर एच डिवाइडेड बाय एम डैश वेयर TV is equal to BP of pure solvent. R is equal to gas constant. LV is equal to latent heat of वेपराइजेशन पर ग्राम ऑफ सॉल्वेंट डेल्टा वेपर एच लाइट एंड हिट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन पर मोल ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एम डैस मोलर मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट सो आइडर इन दिस फॉर्मूला इफ ऑल टर्म्स आर गिवन देन वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ व्हाट के If Kb is known, molarity is known, then we can determine what elevation of boiling point. One thing always remember: the Kb concept is only applicable for what solvent Kb. KV is only applicable for solvent. Second one, for same solvent, if boiling point increases, then KV increases. We can say. KB is directly proportional to boiling point for same solvent. That is, when boiling point increases, KB increases. When boiling point decreases, then KB decreases. So we can say it is boiling point. is directly proportional to what kb the next important term unit of kb kelvin kg per mole for water kb value बिकम इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव वन कैलविन के जी पर मो वाटर इज ए इनवर्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट तो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर वन थिंग द केवी ऑफ वाटर इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव कैलविन के जी पर मोर नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट कि इफ KB is given, then we can determine the molar mass 
of solute but the condition is that our solute become non volatile and non electrolyte in nature so let us consider a question first pv dash minus pv is equal to what delta tv delta tv is equal to what kb into a small m for a small m we can write a small w into 1000 divided by m dash into what capital w this is our equation second in equation second a small w is equal to mass of solute m dash small molar mass of solute capital w mass of solvent so we can determine molar mass of solute if all other terms are given if solute become electrolyte in nature then molar mass obtained through this equation become either gives higher value or lower value compared to ideal if solute dissociate in solution then molar mass obtained through this collimity property is lesser compared to ideal value but when solute associate in solution then molar mass obtained through this collimity property become higher compared to ideal value why it can be understand with the help of next topic that is said to be when half factor from second it is clear ki our delta tb directly proportional to number of moles of solute and we know that number of moles of solute directly proportional to what number of particles hence delta tb is said to be what colligative properties why because these properties depends upon the number of what particles any properties which depends upon the particles called what colligative properties if if we draw the graph between vapor pressure and temperature in the elevation of boiling point two curves are obtained such curves also indicate ki the boiling point of solution is always greater than the boiling point of pure solvent graph between vapor pressure and temperature here vapor pressure and this axis 
become temperature and this one is supposed to be atmospheric pressure 180 we obtained two types of curve regarding this curve we obtain what Tb dash and here Tb this difference is said to be what delta Tb this curve indicate dbp of solution and this curve indicate dbp of pure solution tv dash is always greater than tv this difference is called what delta t delta t b is what elevation of volume the last thing is that if there is a equilibrium become stabilized between liquid and vapor state in the elevation of boiling point that is water liquid water vapor approximately the boiling point of water is considered to be what 100 degrees our next quality property is depression of freezing point and this heading First, we have to understand freezing point. Freezing point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of solid is equal to the vapor pressure of liquid. That is, when liquid converted into solid and solid reconverted into liquid, when rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of backward reaction, at such a stage, temperature become noted. Such temperature is called what? Freezing point for that substance. Let us consider a formation of solution take place by mixing solute and solvent. In this case, also our solute become non-volatile and non-electrolyte in nature. In this solution, two types of freezing point are possible. The first one, the freezing point of solvent. And the second one, the freezing point of solution. The freezing point of solvent is always greater than the freezing point of solution. Why? Because boiling point of solution is greater than the boiling point of pure solvent. And we know that freezing point is inversely proportional to boiling point. That's why we can say Tf is greater than Tf dash. The difference of Two freezing point that is Tf minus Tf dash is called delta Tf, where delta Tf is equal to what? Depression of freezing point. Again, according to Rawls, delta Tf is directly proportional to molality of solute in solution. If we remove proportionality, we get what? Delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. This is our equation first, where Kf is called what? Molar depression constant or you can say cryoscopic constant. If molality of the solution become equal to unity, then the depression of freezing point is equal to what? molar depression constant or chiroscopic constant if kb if sorry kf is not given it can also be determined that is kf is equal to r into tf 
स्क्वायर थाउजेंड इंटू डेल्टा फ्यूजन एच इंटू एम डैस वेयर आर इज इक्वल टू गैस कॉन्स्टेंट टी एफ इज इक्वल टू फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ प्योर सोलवेंट एम डैस कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू मोलर मास ऑफ सोलवेंट डेल्टा फ्यूजन एच इज इक्वल टू लैटेंट हिट ऑफ फ्यूजन पर मोल ऑफ सॉलवेंट सो इफ ऑल टर्म्स आर गिवेन देन वी कैन डिटर माई वॉट केयर एंड पुटिंग द वेल्यू ऑफ केयर इन इक्वेशन फर्स्ट इफ एम इज गिवेन वी कैन प्रोटेक्ट वॉट डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट द यूनिट ऑफ केयर इज सिमिलर टू द यूनिट ऑफ के वी दट इज यूनिट ऑफ केयर कैलविन के जी पर्म केयर वैल्यू फॉर वाटर इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन पॉइंट एट सिक्स कैलविन के जी पर्मो केयर टर्म इज ओनली एप्लीकेबल फॉर वॉट सॉल्व वॉटर इज ए यूनिवर्सल सॉल्वेंट देर फोर इट्स नोमरिकल वैल्यू बिकम इक्वल टू वॉट वन पॉइंट एट सिक्स एंड यूनिट इज कैलविन के जी पर मोल फ्रॉम इक्वेशन फर्स्ट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन फर्स्ट अगेन we can write delta tf is equal to kf into a small w 1000 divided by m dash into capital w this is our equation second where a small w is equal to mass of solute m dash small molar mass of solute capital w mass of solvent so if all terms are given and m dash is unknown then we can determine Molar mass of solute, but again the condition is that the solute become non-volatile and non-electrolyte. One thing also remember: the molecular mass, or we can say molar mass, determine with the help of this formula when the side of molecule become what a smaller. So we can say M dash is applicable for what? non macro molecules non macro molecules from equation second it is again clear delta tf is directly proportional to what number of moles of solute delta tf is directly proportional to number of moles of solute hence we can say delta tf is called colligative property so this property is said to be colligative in nature graph between vapor pressure 
and temperature in the depression of freezing point. Here we consider it to be vapor pressure. Horizontally, we consider if temperature again two types of cup obtained. As this point is said to be as does here, freezing point. Uh, Pure solvent, this curve is freezing point of solution regarding this point, temperature become noted, this point is said to be what, Tf, here Tf dash, this difference is known as what? Delta T F that is T F minus T F dash is equal to delta T F and this delta T F is equal to what depression in freezing point this line indicate frozen solid that is solid solid so during the depression of freezing point in a solution the equilibrium becomes stabilized that is water liquid at 0 degree centigrade converted into water gas equilibrium is stabilized between solid solvent and liquid my last heading is applications of depression of freezing point. The first one in making anti freezing solutions. In cold country, in the radiator of cars, we use a anti freezing substance known as what? Ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol is a anti feeding substance generally 335 gram ethylene glycol when added in 1 kg of water the freezing point decreases by 10 degree centigrade the formula of ethylene glycol is ethylene glycol It is an anti feeding substance. The second application is in melting of ice on the road. NaCl is scattered on the road in the cold countries. If 
एसियल मिक्स विथ आइस द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट डिक्रीजेस बाय माइनस ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड तो सच आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वॉट डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एलसीआरटी क्वेश्चन 2.32 क्वेश्चन 2.33 ऑलरेडी गिवन इन माय सेकंड असाइनमेंट व्हिच आर बेस्ड अपॉन वेंट हाफ फैक्टर सो इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल डिस्कस आवर लास्ट क्वालिटी प्रॉपर्टीज एंड वेंट हाफ कॉन्सेप्ट थैंक यू